everyone and welcome back to the breakdown how to today I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to download and install shaders in Minecraft right I'm gonna show you everything you need to download everything you need to install we're gonna go through all of it step by step but before we get into the video be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more awesome content on Minecraft on video games installing mods in them on building websites all kinds of awesome tutorials every single day of the week guys learn something subscribe to the breakdown how to also if you're looking for an awesome 24 hour DDoS protected Minecraft server go to the breakdown.xyz slash MC server to easily and quickly set up an awesome Minecraft server for just one dollar per month that's the first link down below we use them for all of our servers so um yeah they're freaking awesome go check out game servers at the first link down below again that's the breakdown.xyz slash MC server but let's go ahead and get on into the video so the first thing you need to do to install shaders is go to the second link down below the breakdown.xyz slash shaders it will take you here where you can actually see our in-depth text tutorial on how to install shaders and get it up and running however we need to uh, click this green download button right here this is gonna be the shader pack we're installing if you want to install a shader different shaders pack you can this video will show you how to do it but we're gonna be installing Silder shader so if we click that it'll take us off to the Minecraft form where we then want to scroll down and find the version of uh, shaders we want right here so as you can see newest version available is 1.17 that's what I'm gonna go with if you want older versions you can scroll down and find them but for right now we're just going with the uh, high shaders right here Slither's vibrant shaders I'm gonna click that it's gonna take us off to where we can wait on AdFly. Don't click anything on this page at all. Just wait five seconds and then up here on the top left, you will see a skip ad button. When you click that, it will take you over to Mediafire. Maybe click this link to redirect. There we go. And now we can click the download button here on Mediafire and it will download shaders in the bottom left. You may have to keep that file, but it looks like we're good there. Now we're not done downloading yet though. We still need to download Optifine. Optifine is what shaders are ran off of. And if you want to download Optifine, just go to the third link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Optifine. Scroll down and you'll find the green download Optifine button as well as the tutorial on how to do this. If you've got any issues and want to read, you can come back here and uh, read our text tutorial on this. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and click the green download Optifine button there. That takes us up to Optifine.net slash downloads, where once we're on this page, it's taking a minute to load, give me a second there we go once it's loaded you can find the Optifine uh, version you want say you want it for Minecraft 1.10 you'd scroll down here and use that one but we're gonna be using the most recent version of Minecraft here which is 1.12.2 so find the version you want typically the most recent one here is the best one because it's going to have less bugs and all that stuff so come over here and click mirror right there it will then take us to a download page that looks like this, where you then want to click on Download Optifine 1.12.2 right there. When you click that, it should download Optifine. It may open a pop-up. If it does, just go back to this page and click it again and it will work. Down here in the bottom left, as you can see, Optifine is downloading. It may ask you to keep this file. If it does, just click Keep. Um, this is taking a second to download, so I'll see you guys once it's finished. So as we can see, the Optifine file down here is finishing downloading, and boom. It wants us to uh, see if we can keep this file. We're going to keep it right there. So click keep. It will now officially save Optifine. And if we minimize our browser, there should be two things after you close out of the pop-up ad on our desktop. Now, if these aren't on your desktop, don't freak out. Just hit the Windows key on your keyboard and R at the exact same time. This will open up the Run application where you then want to type in Downloads. Exactly like that and hit Enter. And they should be here in your Downloads folder. If they are, just drag them to your desktop for ease of use. Once these are on your desktop, we want to start off with the Optifine file we downloaded. So, right-click on it. You want to open with Java TM Platform SE Binary. If you don't have that, go and check out the fourth link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Java. Go there, download Java, update it, and you'll be good to go. Now let's go ahead and click Install here. Click Install, and it will install. Boom, Optifine is successfully installed. Boom, there we go. Click OK. Now we actually want to open up the Minecraft Launcher. So if we open up the Minecraft Launcher here, we will need to select the Optifine version that we want to play. So come down here next to the play button and hit the little green arrow. Once you click that, you should be able to scroll down and see Optifine right here. It should be the version that you just installed, 1.12.2. If it doesn't say that, come 
come over here once you click on it by the way come over here to launch options then click on the Optifine profile here click on version and scroll down until you find the Optifine version you want which right there's the one we want and then click save then come back to news make sure it says Optifine down here at the bottom then click play and it will now open up Minecraft with Optifine and shaders installed it's pretty simple stuff, guys. So how do you install shaders from this point, though? We're still going to install Silder's Vibrant Shaders. Well, come over here to Options, and then click on Video Settings, and then click on Shaders right here. Once you click on that, Optifine has shaders built in right there, but we want to install our own shaders back here. Slitter's Vibrant Shaders. So click on the Shaders folder here. This will then open up the Shaders Packs folder. Then just take Silder's Vibrant Shaders and drag and drop them into this folder. Come back into Minecraft and boom, there it is. Click on it and it will now activate it in your Minecraft. Boom. Click done, and now if we jump back over into a single player Minecraft world, right here we'll be able to uh, check it out and see what's up and see shaders installed. What has happened? What is going on? As you can see, water is different, clouds are prettier, things are happening. Look at the torch. Look at that. It's beautiful. Anyway, there you guys have it. That is exactly how you can install shaders in Minecraft. Uh, 1.12.2 plus and actually 1.8 plus right any version of minecraft that is a uh, modern version of minecraft can have shaders added this way nevertheless guys i hope you enjoyed the video if you have any questions or any issues please post those in the comment section down below i'm more than happy to help you out my name is nick and this has been the breakdown how to like the video if it helped you again subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and i am out guys peace